Um, and then we have the Hierophant, which is wisdom, which could also, um, because it says wisdom, it could just be the insight from judgment. Um, when you have judgment and Hierophant, it could be a literal judge. So there could be a, some kind of court ruling. Um, the only other card I see that really reminds me of court is the High Priestess and the Emperor. There aren't any other court cards that remind me of an actual literal court. Um, but since there is so much about spiritual information, I do see that with the Hierophant, okay? I do see somebody maybe taking an oath um, to like literally be a priest or a pastor, a monk, something of that nature. Um, but I just I see a revelation of some sorts, and it could be the revelation of a secret, okay? Your, sorry, my stomach just growled. Your current situation, the five of pentacles reversed, um, popped out. And because we're seeing so much spiritual information in this, or you will, you notice here, this is people leaving the church, and here's somebody going back, okay? So you Capricorns out there, it looks like you're going back to some kind of spiritual belief, you're going back to some resources, just coming in from out of the cold. And then the one that I pulled that did not pop out is the Emperor Reversed, which is usually somebody who's very corrupt and tyrannical and abuses their power. But this also says um, you feel like there may be too many rules um, to this place that you're going back to. And you're also a little bit um, resistant to change, so you're not really able to make a hard decision. And it says you need to seek teamwork. So you may actually be seeking to join a community. Um, but you do have some authority issues. And if you're accepting some kind of position, it seems like you're just doing it for the status of it. Um, but not necessarily. I also see just a lack of control and a lack of discipline. But this says remain strong, be positive. Um, now, because we have the high priestess in here, and we have a Hierophant, which has wisdom at the bottom. This could be a platonic friendship brings you wisdom. Okay, that might be very much it. Um, but just, you know, with the Hierophant, this is not conforming, not in an organization, um, or it just talks about some kind of organization, some kind of community, um, like a business structure. But it could very well be a spiritual business. And it looks like you're going back into it. Whereas previously, you probably left. Um, and you're going into a position that's higher. Now, also, the emperor is somebody who's very stuck in his ways. He is set. And in reverse, this could be your open up to new ideas and new ways. So like I can see like, you conforming. Whereas normally, you may not. Um, you may be too rigid. Here, you may be a little lax in your previous... Um, views. Because here the advice, if you were to pull that part, the advice is take on other people's views and beliefs and integrate it and make your own code of conduct. And see here, it looks like you're doing that. So good news. And you're going back to some kind of church. Now, clarifying the five of pentacles, we had five of wands, which tells me you think there's obstacles and challenges, which yes. Okay. Um, this is also competition. Um, so you could be going in for a job, uh, especially with any kind of organization, but especially spiritually. And I see that um, you may have to fight for something. This could be fighting for your beliefs. But then, you know, this change, you're having to go through these challenges. Like you're walking along like, oh, okay, here's something I was missing. And then you fill it in so you can keep going. Like you're integrating all these things because... Five of Wands could also actually be teamwork as a positive. And this is saying seek teamwork, integrate beliefs. So you're working with a team. And then we have Eight of Wands. And this, I mean, it says accelerated motion, but with the star flashing across, it's insight. Okay, this is like a revelation coming to you, especially with the Eight. Eights mean change of mind. That's your current situation. All good, okay? But then we have something that... Um, is your obstacle or possibly your fate for those of you who might be getting a good reading. Uh, I'm just gonna let you know, I, I see I see lies and deception and heartache in here. So, or just suffering. So be careful. Um, so your obstacle or your fate, first come up, page of cups reversed. 
this is somebody not understanding you and then um, somebody taking things very personally and so they're they're intolerant that could very well be the emperor in reverse as somebody who's intolerant um, and I see a relationship a relationship that's full of tantrums also um, difficulty communicating avoiding responsibility could very well be neutral feelings and low self-esteem and possibly giving up dating. But to clarify, we got the sun, which is very positive. So it could be there's something coming to light, okay, with the sun. Um, this takes all your obstacles and says they're going to be overcome. And here, you know, you have lo low confidence, but it looks like you're going to be getting confidence, okay? Um you're going to be able to, people are going to be able to see you positively as instead of immature. And you may possibly have a hard time seeing the good in yourself. Okay. This is somebody who needs to see themselves or see the world with new eyes. So you're, maybe you're seeking all that revelation by going back to church. You probably don't have it yet, but you're trying. And then your obstacle is you're still kind of, blind and immature as far as something goes okay and then we have the light to the sun and this is shining light so you can see the truth you can see who you really are it could be the truth of a secret a secret comes out for instance um so it's something like that that's an obstacle or your destiny now what can help you with achieving that or getting up past that. Well, we had Queen of Pentacles, and that seemed kind of odd to me. Um, she's a great soul, okay? So make sure you're, um, you have your integrity. And she's valuing the Ace of Pentacles, which is the right path. So she's trying to stay on the right path. Um, she's also very uh, practical, and she welcomes the struggling people, okay? She's, I mean, she's... Very, very Queen Mary-ish, if you look at her. She has on the headdress, and she's holding something small in her lap like a baby. So she's very Queen Mary-ish. Some of you may be Catholic. Um, and this is somebody who enjoys life, and they're very down-to-earth. Somebody who um, is generous to others. Somebody whose generosity makes them secure, and it also provides them freedom. I also see somebody who's a nurturer. And this is... Somebody who has to go through a test to prove their loyalty. So again, if you're going into like the priesthood, well, I'm sure there is some kind of an interim period to make sure this is what you want to do. Okay. Um, as far as love or anything really, as advice, this is assess somebody shrewdly. Make them go through a test to prove their loyalty. This is what you could do to avoid any kind of heartache or suffering. Clarifying it is Nine of Pentacles, upright. This is dating around. Perhaps you're not dating around um, for those of you who need to. And so that's something you should do in order to avoid um, any kind of negativity. Nine of Pentacles is also um, you need to reach your goal in order to keep yourself from troubles. Well, what is that? It's being gra grateful. It's being grateful for what you've been giving, your harvest. Um, celebrate your accomplishments. Also, be tactful. Have diplomacy. Um, be restrained. This is also grace, so giving people grace. And, you know, this woman, and these two go hand in hand. This is a man, but most of the time it's a female, a single female. So some of you could be going into a nunnery. Um, and I see you just enjoying the good life. For both of these. Just taking that time out to be simple. And it looks like with the sun, the sun wants to be simple as well. Just live a simple life. Um, so it could be donating to charity perhaps. So you don't have too much excess money. Um, just the freedom to be yourself. Also being confident at work. Because uh, we have three of pentacles later on. So you could just need to be confident in your work. And with the Page of Cups reversed, it may be giving up fancy living, okay? That may be something 
that happened, and this is you trying to work with it within it. I go into your strength. I've got to tell you guys, this strength is horrible. I don't know how this is your strength, so we're going to look at it. You get Nine of Pentacles reversed, which is what you just had. So you had to be Nine of Pentacles upright, which would be grateful, okay, um, for what you have and um, selfless as well as independent. And <laughs> that's what your steps are, okay, to help you. And then in your strength, when it's reversed, it's talking about setbacks, being foolish, being unwise, um, feeling like a prisoner, being in a toxic relationship, failure pretty much. And then having expectations that have been disappointed. Okay, and this also would be, you know, not being grateful, being codependent, wanting to settle down rather than date. Okay, now why this is in your strength beats me. Okay, but clarifying it, Eight of Swords. Like, how much more negative could you get than Eight of Swords besides, you know, Ten of Swords or Tower? Um, I will tell you with the Hierophant in here. And the Eight of Swords, um, it looks like a Scorpio could take you away from danger or some kind of accident. But mostly I see this as being bound or trapped. Now, I never read these cards upright or in reverse. They usually have to fall out for me to read them. But if for some reason this is in reverse, then your strength is getting out as some kind of bondage. Um, since this is a spiritual reading mainly, I can see getting out of spiritual bondage, getting out of being held back um, by some kind of belief. Um, and it's clarifying this card. So it could be just unfoolish, I mean, foolish beliefs, foolish actions um, about that you maybe can't enjoy the good life. And it looks like you might be getting out of that limiting belief. And I also see you feel, you feel afraid to commit to something because you don't really know what to expect. Of course, and then we have here wanting to settle down but not knowing what to expect. So then even though you want to settle down, you're not sure where or what to do it. Like what church do I go to? Who do I pick? And it could be a very good thing that you're taking some time out to think, but there's a need for release. There's a need to let go. Um, and I can also see that you're willing to, um, like you're willing to oppose your own views. Okay. You're willing to, this is a codependent card. I didn't think about that. So as a strength, yeah, being codependent on people could be a strength as far as getting through a tragedy or codependent as in taking on other people's ideas and sharing them and giving people your ideas and integrating them. That's a kind of codependence because you need other people to help enlighten you. And this um, would be... Um, Poss could possibly be getting rid of a limiting belief, okay? But basically being held back by a belief. Let's go to your other challenges. First was the high priestess reversed. So this is, um, you're examining, but you don't really like what you see, or you're really suffering with the changes that are coming with a new perspective you're getting. Like you're really having to let go. Also, you may find a false teacher, okay? Because that's what this usually could be. Um, somebody may misuse their spiritual gifts. Um, and so they're just a bad spiritual leader. This also says, for those of you in a relationship, your advice, because this is challenges or advice, don't waste your, um, your tears on the past, okay? If you have a past that you're trying to leave behind, um, and you want a final cleansing or you're you know being reborn into another religion, leave the past behind. Because to me, this very much seems like a baptism here. Um, so being reborn, I can see that. And that's again just a belief system or maybe actually a physical reborn spiritually. But again, this is about a deep faith and deep secrecy because of the hierophant. And I see with the judgment, you're having an awakening, you're having a rebirth, you're having a revelation, a final cleansing, being connected to a higher power that affects your afterlife. Okay. But as a challenge, you know, we have the hermit clarifying it. So again, 
I see deep faith, but also secrecy. And so if there is a false teacher, somebody may be um, abusing their power, because we did have the emperor reversed. So somebody may be abusing their power as a false teacher. Could possibly be you. Um, and then the high priestess is also mistress. And I, I do believe you guys may have had a reading about this previously, where you were going into like seminary, or you were in it, you were in that field, and then having an affair. So it could be a secret comes out. Okay. This is also the study of knowledge. You may be going into um, some kind of spiritual um, organization. Some of you could be going to college. But mainly I see spirituality. And this is the need to reflect. And you're almost fulfilled. We have tons of nines. We have nine of pentacles. The hermit, which is nine. The moon car, which is eight plus one, which is nine. The nine of swords. The sun, which is nine plus one, okay. Um, so, and then nine of pentacles again. So yeah, there's lots of nines. Um, very interesting. That's, that's being close to fulfillment. Let's see, what else could it be? My little cheat sheet here. Being close to fulfillment. Yeah, fruition, a conclusion, something coming to a close, being selfless. Also, oh, getting inspiration and wisdom. That would make sense. Okay. So getting inspiration and wisdom. But I do see some secrecy here. Okay. Um, something might come out of the bag. So it might be a challenge. Then we have King of Wands Revest. So this is somebody who's good, but they're very severe. Be it tolerant. I think this might be you or the emperor person. Because the emperor is fire energy. As well as you know, the King of, King of Wands. But whoever that is, remember the emperor reversed was tolerant. Um, but he's usually severe as well, and so that would be this King of Wands reversed. Um, but it's also freedom and not settling down. Okay, so not settling down. We have not settling down over here. So your strength is in the past, you know, you settle down, you're set in your ways and very stubborn, but then what you should be doing is not settling. And again, we have somebody not settling. And this is also somebody who's available because it's in reverse. Okay, clarifying King of Wands. We had the Three of Pentacles. So again, this is usually in a church setting. There's three people and being recognized. So a position perhaps, um, a boost of self-esteem from your career regarding this. And I see teamwork as well, you know, that integration of ideas. And this is for a spiritual setting. This is getting encouragement, feeling like you've found a home, okay? And then King of Wands reversed is, it's as if you, the teamwork is good, but you kind of have to tolerate it. And it's like so very severe. It's a big change for you. But then again, this is somebody who might be a false teacher or has a false passion and they're not very honest when they're in reverse. And then again, secret lover. Um, so if you do have a secret lover, for those of you in that field, uh, it looks like the secret will be coming out. Okay, that might be a challenge for you. Now in your outcome, doesn't look good, okay? Three of swords. So <laughs> this is heartache, um, third party, breakup, maybe temporary breakup but it's still there, okay? Um, and with the Three of Pentacles, sometimes that's my signal for Three of Swords. So it looks like you have it twice. Um, but this is, um, well, just hurting from your relationship. Could be reliving a past hurt, not necessarily love-wise, but just any kind of past hurt regarding spirituality. And... It could also be some kind of um, an obsession, okay? And there may be somebody who has three admirers from which to choose, but mainly I see heartache. And I clarified it, nine of swords, which is depression, heartache, living nightmare. Um, I mean, it just doesn't get any you know, nicer. Just realizing uh, you need to take on responsibility and be, being overwhelmed. And normally this person's, Faces in their hands, so feeling ashamed or guilty. Um, but mainly just 
needing a lot of support um, because everything seems really, really horrible. And it could be suffering from some words somebody said. But yeah, it is, re it is regarding community work with that Three of Pentacles we had. I'm trying to see what the Nine of Swords is for each of our arcana. But it is closer to the moon. So let's go ahead and go to the moon. Okay. This is a Pisces card, so you might be dealing with the Pisces. Um, but it's the Planet of Surprises with Neptune. Um, Page of Cups. Ooh, okay. Perhaps what was bad is you didn't get an interview. Because remember we talked about getting up for an interview and then you didn't get it. And maybe because a secret came to light or somebody didn't see you very positively and you thought they were. And so you didn't get a graduation. You didn't get an audition, an interview. And this... This is usually an illusion or a secret. And it could be the reason you didn't get it is because you may have been having an affair with somebody or somebody just didn't like you because of a secret. Could even possibly be gossip, okay? Um, but you do have like a psychic awareness. There is a lover and just some secrets. And the moon reveals the high priestess. And we had the high priestess, okay? And I also see... Somebody's giving half truths about the situation to avoid pain, okay? And we have lots of pain here. So somebody's going to give some half truths to help help avoid this. And that could be part of a miscommunication. Again, this says the moon reflects the sun and well we have the sun. Okay. So what is it that somebody that came to light? Well, it's this the shadow self, this secret, this illusion. Now, I mean, you are very dedicated. You're like a good humanitarian. You're very altruistic. Um, but this is how you see yourself, okay? Because, you know, reflecting the sun, yeah. Um, and also with that page of cups. How you see yourself and your effect on other people. So there's some way you see yourself. And you see it very negatively. Like you think it's you're painful to other people. And you're suffering in silence about something. But you have an effect on people. And you do, um, you don't really see yourself with new eyes. If you had this transformation or this revelation and you've become a new person, it could be just mentally you're not really seeing it. You don't feel like there's a change. But remember, your advice was to leave the past behind, okay? Especially with this judgment, okay? And also it could be like some official in um, the religious spiritual area gives you a harsh judgment, or they're just judging you. But it looks like there needs to be a final cleansing of a relationship or the past. But see, this is also valuable insight. You're going to get some valuable insight from some kind of pain or suffering, whether your own or one you cause somebody else, because you do have the sun here. And that's usually how the moon and the sun work together. Not only is it a reflection of the sun, but the sun is valuable insight. It's, you see yourself a certain way or you see others a certain way or how you affect other people. So you really are getting a revelation. You're getting, the truth is going to be revealed. Um, also, your dreams, they're going to reveal your past to help you out in your present. Okay, so listen to your dreams. And this is the need to move through your fears, move through the distortions into the truth. Okay, because yeah, your past, you may have had a secret in the past and it's affecting your current situation. And so your dreams are going to reveal it. And it says once, you know, you listen to your dreams, your intuition, you're going to know what to do. And you, again, you're on your path to wisdom and understanding and stability. 